Hi everybody, I am Fatima Marel Najim of TKM College of Engineering, Kolam. I am before you to explain the working of RC coupled amplifier. RC coupled amplifier is widely used in audio frequency applications. It provides voltage, current and power gain. The basic principle behind the working of RC coupled amplifier is that the base current controls the collector current. When the base current increases, it causes a relatively high increase in the collective collector current and similarly, when the base current decreases, it causes a relatively high decrease in the collector current. The base emitter junction of the transistor is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased. This is for the proper functioning of the amplifier. The transistor is in PE configuration, that is, the input is taken from the base and the output is obtained from the collector. This is the circuit of RC coupled amplifier. Resistors R1 and R2 are employed for voltage divided bias of the transistor. It provides good stabilization independent of beta and temperature. Input signal V in is coupled to the base through the capacitor CB. Output signal is coupled from the collector through the capacitor CC. For distortionless output, the operating point must, get, must be kept at the middle of the load line. This means that output voltage swing in either positive or negative direction is half of VCC. Current series feedback is used in the circuit using RE. It stabilizes the operating point against the temperature variation. The purpose of the bypass capacitor CE is to bypass signal to the ground. Now let me demonstrate the circuit of RC coupled amplifier. This is the circuit assembled on the breadboard. VCC of 12 volt is provided. An input signal of 50 millivolt peak to peak is given. It is a sine wave and it is at a frequency of 1 kilohertz. Now let's check the DC conditions. For a transistor to act as an amplifier, the base emitter voltage should be between 0.6 and 0.7. And here on verifying that we are we are obtaining a voltage of 0.63, which implies that transistor is operating in active region. Now VCE collector to emitter voltage. We get a collector to emitter voltage of 6 volt, approximately 6 volt, which is equal to half of VCC. Now let's see the output of the amplifier. The output is taken from the collector. This is the output of RC coupled amplifier. Now let me show you the measurements. Peak to peak voltage of 5 volt, approximately 5 volt is obtained. Now, now let us check the frequency. A frequency of 1 kilohertz is obtained. Now, so we have obtained a sine wave of voltage for approximately 5 volt and frequency 1 kilohertz. From this, we can infer that. The voltage gain is 100 as we have designed. Another important thing to note here is that we know that the VCC provided here is 12 volt. So the maximum output swing will be 12 volt. That is the maximum input voltage which can be applied is 120 millivolt. And if we apply an, an input voltage which is more than 120 millivolt, we will get a distorted output. Let's see. Since we have applied an input voltage of more than 120 millivolt, the output waveform is clipped. Now let's check the frequency response characteristics of RC coupled amplifier. This is the frequency response characteristics. We can observe from the graph that 
at low frequency the voltage gain will be low and at high frequency too the voltage gain is low and, mi and at middle frequency the voltage gain remains a constant now let's verify the frequency response characteristics of RC coupled amplifier. On applying a low frequency, say 100 Hz, we can observe that the output voltage have lowered to 1.3 volt. As output voltage have decreased, the voltage gain also decreases. Now, let's check the frequency response characteristics at high frequency. On applying a high frequency of 2 MHz, now also we can observe that the voltage is reduced. As a result of reduced voltage, the voltage gain will also be reduced. This happens due to the low impedance of internal capacitance of the transistor. Now let's check the frequency response characteristics at middle frequencies. We can apply three middle frequencies 1 kHz, 10 kHz and 100 kHz. that the voltage remains constant at middle frequency 10 kilohertz at 100 kilohertz also the voltage appears to be constant from this it is obvious that frequency response characteristics is a constant at middle frequencies the main application of RC coupled amplifier is audio frequency signal amplification. It is used in communication systems, TV and radio receivers. That's the end of the class. Hope you have got some idea of RC coupled amplifier. Thank you for listening to you.